it was the last day of the combining season and uh, Auntie went off to do a smallish job, you know, around lunchtime. I was cutting three or four acres of corn and over promised rain at the time, so when it's finishing up and it did start raining and the grain got stuck to the side of the bin of the combine, like inside me. And for me to clean it out, I had to be moved, so I had to begin to do that. And sure, I got into the um, tank and I, I stood on the guard over the organ, like, just been in the bottom, and reached to shove it. And I was getting it in grand, sure, finest, but I lost my balance in for the last bit. And that's when my, um, my toe wasn't into it, like. But I was trying to pull and pull with the speed of the yoke, because the machine was flat out going, like. And the speed of the, the auger and the way it's shaped too, it's constantly grabbing you like. So I couldn't get out on it. And so my toes were gone in a matter of seconds. There was no point of roar because if people were walking, wouldn't even hear me because it roared the machine, because that was flat out going. When I found myself getting weaker, then I said to myself, if I don't fucking go, I'd be pulled out through it. Um, so I got myself back up to the hole in the bin and got my elbows up on the bin, like that, so I was able to jack myself up. And this leg then was about that much off the floor of the bin, which the other one was cotton it, and it just tore it in from here. Just left it in it. Oh, yeah. So that was the situation. I always think I rested myself. <laughs> but, uh, the man that worked with me, he found me first, and then he rang um, the man I was working for, Martin Hopkins, and he just came in. And so he never seen anything like that before either, like, you know, it's a big shock. Oh, just something like you see in a bad movie that you wouldn't be able to look at now. He was just lying back flat down on, on, on the, on the uh, right on the roof, and then basically just his leg was pulled off from, from, from there, you know? Pulled off in bits and I could, you know, I just glanced down, I could see bits of the leg and all that. And it's such a horrific sight, like, you know. You know, I was sure he was going to die, to be honest, you know, he was, you know, very, very bad, you know, tonight. But one of the, it just, it's even hard even talking about, no, like, just doing it's very hard, thinking about it or talking about it, it's, it's, it's hard, you know. The doctor came from Aircourt, he's a foreign doctor, and she put a drip on me and stuff like that. And an hour went by, I think it was six o'clock then, the fire brigade and Dan was now came. Everyone's working these machines and young lads and on, they don't get a proper rundown on safety. And when they're driving these big machines, they think they're untouchable, like, a lot of them are. A lot of young lads do. Do you know, if you're 17 or 18 years of age and you're told to move that combine, you're like, geez, they're God's gift, like, they're brilliant. And nothing will hurt them. Do you know, they move mountains. But like that, it happens, you know. And it's over before they know what happened. It makes me more conscious again, to be honest, you know more conscious again. I shiver now when I see anyone doing anything wrong or, you know, when you get out, like, turn it off. The big thing about machinery I find is when you're in the cab, you're okay. It's when you're on the ground. Just think twice what they're going to do, like, and not just lip in with your feet, like. And these things, if they are running, running on very little power or revving out, <laughs> they will age you up, like, and, like, everyone thinks, and even I thought, at the time, when I got into it, and I got into the thing a hundred times a day, that's not going to happen to me. But it, really, it did fucking happen to me, like, and it happened to him and her and whoever gets into it. But you just have to turn them off, respect the machine, like. And if you respect it, they'll, that'll respect you. That's it, like. Life isn't bad. Life is not bad. But well, it could be a whole lot better if I just thought at the time before I hopped into the combine. 